Okay, so here's a pretty common problem uh, we see. It's uh, regarding uh, caching, and it shows up uh, most often as uh, icons, uh, header icons. They could be anywhere, but they're typically header icons because they're things like Facebook and uh, YouTube, uh, Instagram icons, just showing up as a square. And now this happens to be in Firefox, but you'd also see squares in Chrome, uh, also, to your your menu could show up in this case um, instead of being three bars for a drop down menu, we're actually seeing the letter U, uh, which we could. In fact, um, you might see a lowercase a. Um, in some cases, uh, you'll see some other character, but it's not the right character. Suffice to say, and it's because of caching. And there's a couple of ways to address this. Let's go over and take a look at. Uh, back in Chrome. Now this is of course what it should look like. Uh, it should, we should see actually a Facebook icon and an Instagram icon and a Twitter icon and the menu should have the hamburger, three lines hamburger. Uh, the problem is that, uh, well there's a couple of things going on. If you're using WP Rocket, uh, and this is a recent problem and um, because of a change in an upgrade to uh, the Divi theme. So if we go to WP Rocket, look at the themes, or pardon me, settings, and come down to, uh, let's see, I think it's under, uh, it's a basic cache. No. Uh, it's, uh, I always get this wrong. Uh, fine tune the cache rules. Uh, nope. It is under preload. Yeah, there it is. Preload. So what we're looking at here is preload fonts, and the problem is that it can't find the fonts that go along with the Divi theme. So if you look at this, uh, the the uh, what we've done is we have preloaded the fonts for Divi under WP Contents Themes Divi Core Admin Fonts Modules .tff. TFF is the font file. And that's where those uh, icons and etc. Hamburger menu. Those that's where they're supposed to be. So we pr put those that font file under the preload uh, in hopes of speeding things up. But the problem is in one of the later versions of Divi, which is four point something or other, uh, they've actually changed the location of that module uh, font file. And if I go over here to another site, this happens to be our generic Fresh Idea Demo site, you'll see I've already fixed this one, and this is the new location of the font file. So let me just copy that one. Go back to this site, build the agency. I'm going to paste it right below it so you can see the difference. So instead of Divi Core Admin Fonts Module uh, Font File, it's now Divi Core Admin Fonts Modules slash All, and then Modules uh, uh, Font File. So they've put it in a different folder, and this is a change. So basically what's happening is this font file is trying to load. It can't find it, and so you end up just getting random characters. And we need to put in the new correct. So if, we, if you are running WP Rocket, then... Basically, we're going to remove that preload, put in the new path, uh, and save the changes. Once we save the changes, uh, we should get a little check. Here we go. Save the changes. We can go to WP Rockets, clear the cache. Uh, always a good idea to do that. Now, what's going to happen is, of course, in Chrome, Chrome's already cached this long way, way back, and so I, I can't recreate the problem in Chrome. And so that's why I'm going over here to Firefox. Because in Firefox, it hasn't cached that stuff yet. So, But now that I've fixed that, I should be able to refresh the screen. There you go.